What's going on guys, Asian Guy here bringing you a video discussing many different things and a pretty heart to heart conversation about a lot of different things. So let's begin with first of all, Adventure Rank 56. I have been a degenerate enough and spent an ungodly amount of money to refill my way to Adventure Rank 56 for a whopping 1,724 experience out of 258,950 and that's just from AR 56 to 57. Now I believe there is absolutely no change from AR 55 to 56. I will test this out later but I'm 99.9% .9 sure there are no difference in drops. So there's no rush to get to AR 56. AR 60 is a long time away guys. We're not going to see people at AR 60 until maybe the late summer. So that's something very very fun off but there's some things that I've learned playing this game and there's just a lot of stuff I really want to talk about from where I started which was a very humble noob listening to tier lists that said Bennett, Sing Chu and Sucrose were terrible four stars and the reality was people rated them as terrible four stars because they were aesthetically let's say not the most intriguing designs in the world and they didn't seem to be very popular characters and I also believe nonsense garbage telling me to buy stuff from Chloris the florist over here and I lost a lot of a lot of more listening to whoever uploaded that viral video. I don't remember. I have two names off the top of my head, but whoever it was, you you guys or you people, you you took a lot of more from me. As a young noob, you told me one of the best things you could do is to clear out this shop of this garbage. Ah, uh, that's right, guys. I paid one thousand. 5,000 every time I came to the shop for this garbage. 15,000 more a session for Valberry Wolfhook and Philanemo Mushrooms. You hate to see it, guys. You hate to see it. But yes, if you have seen that video, guys, please don't clear out this shop. Don't buy stuff from shops. You really shouldn't be buying stuff from shops other than maybe like potatoes or shrimps to, to cook dishes. But that's pretty much it. But I'm, I'm going on a tangent here, guys. I'm going on a tangent. So as I roam around, there's multiple things I want to talk about. And this video is mainly for the real ones out there. I'm not saying if you don't want to watch this video, you're not a real one. I am kind of saying that, but I'm not I'm not really saying that. Everyone that watches any kind of video I have, whether you're here only for Genshin Millionaire, whether you're here only for my Bible videos, that sounds kind of weird. My, my build videos, whether you're here for my gameplay videos like the Genshin Mondays or the Tuesdays, whether you're here for my wife or interactions with my wife, I just want to say a massive 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 thank you to you guys because we have hit over 50,000 subscribers this has completely and utterly destroyed my old youtube channel which was called asian guy optc it's a one piece related channel the anime one piece i'm a big anime fan if you would like to see what kind of anime i like if you come over to my twitch channel i have a command which is exclamation mark anime and you will find my anime list or my annie list as well i use both websites although i have not updated these websites recently so I, I need to get around to doing that. Now, what I wanted to talk about, guys, is first of all, I touched on this at the beginning, AR56. If you guys know any other EU-based content creators that are AR56, please do let me know. Because at the moment, I posted it on Twitter, and I don't think there is a single other player on the EU server that anywhere that I know of anyway, that is AR56. So it's possible that I am actually the highest level player on the EU server, although I doubt it. I would say I'm within the top five, but if I'm actually the top one, <laughs> about to stroke my ego of wailing, which is not very healthy for me. So actually, yes, please let me know if there is someone that is a higher level than me on EU. That's something I'm very curious about. But the other thing I wanted to talk about, guys, is... Again, if you haven't followed me on Twitter, feel free to do so. There's no obligation to do so. There's a lot of things that I've had on my mind that's been stressing me out. And I just wanted to make it very clear to you guys that I will probably be cutting down on posting videos very, very, very super regularly because I have been doing so almost every single day. And streams, I've been streaming almost every single day for like the past... How long has Genshin been out for? Three months? Four months? Ever since I started, again, I started like two weeks later than the, the original hype train. I wanted to catch up to the hype train, but it's because I really love this game. And it's mainly thanks to this man right here. I'm the biggest Zhongli shrimp of all time. For those of you who didn't know, 
before coming over to Genshin Impact. I was like, there's no way I'd play Genshin Impact. Genshin Impact, I looked at the character rosters and they're like all women. And I'm like, this is this is a waifu simulator. I'm not the kind of person that plays waifu simulators. I'm not one of those people that looks at lollies or waifus and they're like, ooh, ooh that's what I want. I want to get figurines of them. I want to get posters of them. I'm going to, you know... To them, you know, that's not the kind of person I am. I'm all about the badass characters, whether they're male or female. And I was like, mm, if I don't really get to play with any of these characters, do I really want to get into Genshin Impact? So I randomly came across Zhongli on my Twitter feed. And I was like, oh, I was like, hello, who is that? Who is that badass strolling down the street? And it was none other than Zhongli. So I owe this man everything. And I owe you guys everything as well for helping me go essentially full, full time. Before I was like full partish time-ish, but now I'm full full time as a content creator and I owe that all to you guys. Just want to say a massive massive thank you as well because if it wasn't for you guys, one, I wouldn't be able to have a C6 Zhongli. I wouldn't be able to have a C6 Xiao. I wouldn't be able to have a C6 Ganyu as well. I wouldn't be able to afford such crazy spending on Genshin Impact. And two, that's going to tie into the next point is I want to move out of this place guys and to do that, I gotta have the, you know, I gotta have the dollar dollar. So C6 characters. A lot of people come to my stream and ask me, am I gonna be Constellation 6 and XYZ character? The answer is probably going to be no, guys. It's really, really expensive. Shall completely and utterly ripped open my cheeks. And then Chi Chi came out. Twice. <sighs> you guys know how I feel about Chi Chi. I do think she's the weakest five star. And I know. We got the Chi Chi apologists and the Chi Chi defenders. I'm not saying she's a bad character, guys, but compared to someone like, you know, the new buff Zhongli or Ganyu, she's just not on that level. And I really struggle to believe that anyone truly disagrees with that statement. But they are completely different roles. But I would say in terms of value, if you had to pick between saving one character in your roster, gameplay only, not simping, not simping in included, you know, like no character design, no attachment to the character, and purely for gameplay reasons, I'm sure everyone would not take Chi Chi over, for example, like a Ganyu or a Zhongli or a Venti, is the kind of point I'm trying to make it. Again, Chi Chi is not bad, guys, but obviously as someone who doesn't really need a Chi Chi, Seeing Chi Chi twice and losing the 50-50 twice was a feels bad, man. I have no idea what I'm doing right now, roaming around. But, yeah, after Xiao, I had to take a step back and realize, well, i got to relax on the spending. And then two, it's just I'm tired, guys. I'm really, really tired. My sleep pattern is all over the place. I'm not in a healthy position. I need to take a step back. And I'm going to be cutting down on streaming and cutting down on content creation of videos i'm not quitting by no means am i quitting i still love doing this i just think i need to take a bit more of a break and i hope that's okay with you guys originally i was staying up tonight trying to get as much footage for zhongli but oh my god so what was it intentionally or essentially or initially the word is initially what was initially meant to be a video where I just briefly showed off physical DPS Zhongli ended up becoming when I was doing it right I was like why do why do I just stop at physical you know and it's mainly because the staff of Homer isn't out yet but unfortunately I did not make it into the Genshin Impact content creator gang which which made me very very sad wait where is he why am I even fighting Jamel guys I don't even know where he is but so miHoYo has this thing on their official Genshin Impact Discord, which is like, you know, if you're a good boy or a good girl, we'll let you into our exclusive club of Genshin Impact content creators. And here you will be able to get free Primo gems per month. And unfortunately, I got kicked out this month. And I think it's because I keep mentioning Hu Tao and I keep talking about the staff of Homer. So in the future, guys, from here on out, even if I'm not strictly talking about leaks, I'm just talking about what's coming in the future and we know about it because Hu Tao's name card is in the game. We know Hu Tao's coming and all of that good stuff. I think I'm going to refrain from talking about that stuff. So if you do have questions about Staff of Homer or the new spears and all of that good stuff, please understand that if I don't answer the question, 
I'm not specifically ignoring, okay, Loki, I am ignoring you, but the reason I'm ignoring you is because I can't really talk about that as a content creator. So hopefully people understand that and don't feel too bad. And yeah, so there's a lot of stuff that I'm, I'm just in a, in a tight position here, guys. But I hope you guys understand and I hope that's that's okay with you. I have absolutely no idea why I'm killing Jamel here. But, you know, I guess it's something to do in the background while I release my thoughts and release my emotions. I, I want to do one of these every now and then, these one-to-one -one talks or these down-to-earth or more, you know, heart-to-heart -heart discussions with you guys and let you know my thought process. This is why this video is not structured at all. It's all over the place, all right? I've literally just gone on like five different tangents here. I'm just waffling. I'm really just waffling. But, you know, I'm gonna clickbait the video if you guys have made it this far, congratulations. The number one Genshin Impact player on EU. As far as I'm aware, I am the rank one player, adventure rank wise, on EU. And as you can see here, the title is Scammer and also KFC Enthusiast. The other thing I wanted to talk about, guys, is I guess what I want to do on my channel in the future. So Genshin Millionaire is a mainstay, even though sometimes those videos do horrifically. I really enjoy doing that on stream. I really enjoy, you know, collabing with other content creators. And in the future, I want to make it so that I can give more exposure to smaller content creators. I know that sounds a bit cocky, but... I, there's so many people in this community that I personally think deserve way, way more attention. I would say for most people, it's because they're streamers that they don't get that exposure. If you are an aspiring Genshin Impact content creator, I would say the number one way to grow is to build a YouTube audience and go from there. You build a YouTube audience, you can stream on YouTube, or alternatively, you can get people to come over to Twitch if they like you and if they want to watch you which I'm blessed to have that. There's so many of you guys I see in my comment section commenting all the time and I recognize you guys on Twitch as well. So thank you to, it's like shout out to you guys for always being there as well. So yeah, if you are an aspiring content creator, that is the way to go. The other thing I want to do on YouTube is obviously, while money is not the main goal, I do want to move so that I can do easier content creation. What I mean by that is you guys know that I'm married when my wife goes to bed, I have not got a very healthy sleeping pattern, uh, you know, insomnia problems. But when I can't sleep, there are times where I have extreme bouts of productivity, but I can't really utilize it because when my wife is sleeping, I, you know, I want her to get good sleep and I can't really record or I can't really do extensive clicking like this. You know, it's really loud. But the main thing is I just can't commentate. I can't stream or I can't commentate. So I want to get a place where the bedroom is very far away from the living room or the office space. So I can do these things at the middle of the night. I can cover all time zones, you know, early UK, late UK, late Europe, you know, America, Asia, because I see you. Putanina gang. All right. My philo gang. I see you guys. OK. Indonesia as well. I see you guys. I see you guys. And I know what Putanina means, guys. It's, it's, a, it's a meme on our stream, but I know what it means. And I'm not, I don't mean that in a serious way. So hopefully I didn't offend anyone. But yeah, that is something else I want to do. And the other thing is, in the future, if I do want to go for Weapons Banner, the thing is that this terrifies me, okay, guys? Weapon Banner Loki terrifies me. You can get really lucky on these guys. And for a lot of people, I would say this Weapons Banner is really good because both weapons are essentially a dub. Any five-star weapon, virtually all of them are dubs, except for maybe the Skyward Blade is the only one I don't think is that great. Amos Bow is okay as well. Unless you have Ganyu, then it's super good. But... These weapons banner as a content creator, the next one is of course going to be Staff of Homer and Wolf's Gravestone. Now, I don't really want the Wolf's Gravestone. Like, I will take it as a consolation prize, but to save myself a lot of money and a lot of pain, I would love to get the Staff of Homer on the first 50-50 and I would, you know, I just want to be, that's, that would be lucky for me. But I could go 10 5 stars on this banner and not get the Staff of Homer. But I know so many people are relying on me to pull that weapon as well as the four star spears, the new one, the lithic spear, and showcase that, right? So as a content creator, there may be times that I have to sell out, guys. And when I say sell out, I mean take sponsorships. However, what I want to make crystal, crystal clear, guys, and this was the same on my old channel, is if I do not believe in the product, I do not utilize a product or service, 
I will not take that sponsorship. That's why you will never, all right, unless they drop like $1 million on me or an obscene amount of money that is life-changing for my content or for my life itself where I can move out. That kind of money, unless that much is dropped on me, I will not promote anything that I think is utter garbage. So I'm sorry, Mr. Raid Shadow Legends. It's not happening, all right? They email me like every four days and I'm just sorry to say to you, I have seen your product, I do not like your product, and I will unfortunately not be promoting your product unless you want to buy me out with, I will I will happily settle for $100,000 per video. That, I think, is a reasonable price to play Raid Shadow Legends, all right? I've definitely cut some ties here, guys, with future sponsorships, oof. But if I do push a product, guys, it's because I really, really, really believe in the product or I really, really like it myself. And you guys can probably see where this is leading into. And it's going to be, I wouldn't really call this a sponsorship. It's more so a promotion because there is a product that I think a lot of people will like. It's Genshin Impact related. And this is just a sneak preview. And I've waited a very long time in the video to show you this, guys, because at the moment, this product has not actually come out yet. And it's still a work in process. Or rather, it is in pre-order phase. So what this is, is are their pins. So I don't know how big this is in Western culture, but in Asian culture, I see this kind of stuff everywhere. And for me personally, I love this. Like this is the kind of stuff I would put on my bag where I would go outside, right? And it's basically me screaming, look at me. I play Genshin Impact. I love Genshin Impact. I love Zhongli. I love Xiao. I love Diluc. But at the same time, I'm not screaming to the general public or like wearing a t-shirt with Zhongli, like a half-naked Zhongli on my, on my t-shirt saying, I will have order. All right, it's not like that. It's one of those subtle things that I can have as an accessory. And this is something that I'm not hard pushing in this video, but it is a product I genuinely, genuinely, genuinely love it. And I would love for people who have actually made it this far into the video, if they are people who like this kind of stuff, to check out the website link in the description down below. I'm not being paid to promote this, by the way. I found this person's artwork. I found this person's product. I was like, I want that, right? I want that. So if you are interested in getting it as well, I have a discount code. It is only 5%, but that's mainly there just to check if I'm getting any sales at all. But if you are interested, guys... I'm being absolutely transparent with you what the discount code is there to do. It's a 5% off. The code is Atsu. It will work for everything in her store. Lixie is her name. Lixie is the artist and she's very, very talented. I just adore these pins so much. Right now, they are in the pre-order phase. There is a queue for it. I believe the queue is... It's relatively big, especially for Zhongli. Zhongli is unsurprisingly very popular. Chan, I believe, is second. And I'm not sure who third is, but I would not be surprised if it was Diluc or Xiao. I mean, that Xiao pin is absolutely gorgeous. I should be receiving these maybe in a week and I will be able to showcase them off in a proper video, like a proper advertised segment. But I really do want to just promote this artist because she is a small time artist and I would, I would love to see her blow up. But mainly because I just think this work is beautiful. I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. And if you are someone who likes these kind of subtle pins or these subtle kind of ways of showing off that you're a weeb or a Genshin fan or any kind of fan, this is the kind of stuff that's personally right up my alley and I would like to share this with you guys. Again, if you would like to purchase them, the code is ATSU at checkout for 5% off. But again, that will tie back into what I was talking about here briefly, guys is in the future, if I do take on sponsorships from other games, maybe I feel like I've been offered multiple different gacha games. Obviously, Raid Shadow Legends is one. That's not one I will ever take on. I really don't think I will ever take Raid Shadow Legends on. I'm sorry, Raid, but no, just no. But if there is another game I enjoy or I think is a good game, maybe I will promote it if they end up paying me to do so. But mainly, I just want to make it clear, as you guys have noticed, I have not had any sponsors. I have not advertised anything on my channel at all. Literally ever on this channel, I've never promoted a product or a service so far. And that's because I just don't want to put something out there and be like, oh yeah, this is the number one game of all time 
make sure to click the link in the description down below and download your copy today and get absolutely worthless tokens in game for absolutely nothing to try and get you hooked on another gambling addiction which will make me profit haha -ha, even though the game kind of sucks Damn, I'm I'm really going off to raid. This is a this is a yikes, guys. All right, maybe I have spoken too much out of honesty here, but that's my thoughts, guys. And hopefully, that's something people are not too upset with. I know some people don't like it when their content creators start promoting stuff and start selling out, and I understand that. But for me to be more sustainable with the content creation, and obviously for a better future for myself, my wife, my family. Eventually, I feel like I'm gonna have to end up taking some of these stuff on because especially with the weapons banner being the way it is I just really hope they fix the weapons banner because that that shizzle <sighs> That weapons banner scares me. I've been so lucky so far with the weapons banner I almost always win the 50 50 on the weapons banner on the first time but I've seen for example in my same stream team the chaotic streamers Nakarurika she got seven Skyward Prides before her first ammo spoke. I seven. Seven. And that's on average 65 for soft pity. Right? 65. And every 10 pulls is 20 pounds. So that's 120. And then 130 because it's 65. So 130 pounds. Seven times. 910 pounds, guys. 910 pounds before she finally got her first ammo spoke, which is another 130 so 1040 pounds for an ammo spoil is is just ridiculous it's just ridiculous and it, it genuinely terrifies me so yeah guys hopefully people understand the position that i'm in and again i will promise you that if i do sell out for a what you will probably or what is commonly perceived as a garbage product it's most likely because they offered a ludicrous amount of money but unless that is the case it's most likely because I actually believe in the product and I think the product is something that will either benefit me personally in terms of it's like a VPN. VPN people, KFC, if you would like to sponsor me, this is me on my knees. This is me on my knees. Listen, KFC, ExpressVPN, NordVPN, Surfshark. Any of you guys want to hit me up? You know I've been a fan of your product, Crunchyroll, Netflix. I use your products, guys. Anyone? You know, if you're out there, I would love to take you on. And I'm sure a lot of people watching the video already use your products as well. So, we would love to see you on the Asian Guy Genshin channel. Genshin Impact, if you like to sponsor me as well. You know, I, I've, I spend a lot of money on your game. So, yeah. That's me selling out right there, guys. But real talk, thank you guys so, so much. For the ridiculous amount of support you have shown on the channel. Let me guys show you what C6 Shao is kind of made of here, guys. So, we're going to do this. Okay, we're going to do this. Right, and then we're going to do that. Boom, 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 boom. So, that's six. We're going to do that. And this resets, guys. Did you see that? That was four there. Oh, everyone's dead. C6 Shao makes me feel empty, guys. Because he's so strong. And that Constellation 6 is definitely one of the most broken things in the game. And I can understand why he doesn't recharge energy. Can you imagine, guys, if those E's, that infinite E reset, recharge his ultimate? So if you are wondering why Shao and his elemental skill during his ultimate doesn't charge his ultimate back up, that's why. It's because of Constellation 6. So you can blame the whales for that. Disgusting. Disgusting whales. But yeah. I think I've gotten everything off my chest. So the main thing is, guys, one, I'm probably going to, you know, sit back and relax a bit more so that I don't go too hard on streaming and content creation and burn myself out. I, I absolutely love this game, by the way, guys. I love collabing with other YouTubers. I hate collabing, but I love collabing with my friends. And... For the people asking about XYZ YouTuber for Genshin Millionaire as well, I want people to understand that obviously I am not in the best position and I'm not seen in the best light when it comes to many content creators. A lot of people don't like me and that's absolutely okay. I'd also like to shout out I Win to Lose Gaming. He is a r relatively new channel and he is someone that actually uses maths and applies the maths in game as well. 
with actual demonstrations and understands the importance of applications. So I highly recommend you check that out if you are someone interested in the numbers and different play styles. And I went to lose gaming and I really thought about this recently is he used one of my lines which is don't look at the floor look at the ceiling like if you pull a character especially a five star character you should really be looking at their upper ceiling and their full potential not what they're at like you know level 50 level 60 level 70 when they're under leveled and he used that line and a lot of people i read his comment section didn't like that so i was thinking to myself obviously if someone collabs with me it could put them in a bad spotlight because I'm not in the, you know, I'm not the most family friendly person. I'm very blunt. I, I speak what I think. And this is what this whole video is essentially being about. It's just really just me speaking about what I've been thinking about and no filter. And sometimes that's not good. That's not content creation friendly. So for a lot of content creators, guys, I know I see a lot of people like, oh, can you get this person on the show? Can you get this person on the show? One, there's a good chance I don't, I have never, you know, like spoken to that person. There's a good chance they don't even know who I am. I've seen a lot of people who are like, oh, get Buap on the show. But I'm 99% sure that he has no idea who the F I am, guys. And he has no idea what Genshin Millionaire is. So it's, Easy to just comment, oh, get this person on the show, get this person on the show, get this person on the show. But first of all, if I'm not even on speaking terms with that person, I don't want to just go up and be there like, oh, yeah, my comment section said I want they want to have you on the show. Can you come on the show, please? Because that's just like me trying to use them to appease my comment section or just trying to use them for clout. And I don't want to be seen as like a clout chaser. And I want to... I want to have an actual meaningful relationship with these people. Like with regards to Tenha or Envy or Chris or Techie Chan, like I consider all of them my friends. Like I watch their streams, maybe a little bit too much. And I like genuinely like those people as people, not just as content creators as well. And I don't have that relationship with everyone. I would like to develop that relationship with as many people as possible, but that's not something that can be reciprocated always between content creators. So maybe guys, before you type, get this person on, get this person on, you should try and analyze whether or not they either have good chemistry with me, they even know who I am, or whether that or not they like me guys because i'm gonna tell you right now a lot of people don't like me so yeah massive shout out to i win to lose gaming as well uh check his link out in the description down below along with lixies as well for the shop remember at two five percent off for the codes there is a pre-order queue i will have a video out in the future guys where i actually have the physical pins and it will be like a hard push because i want this product to do really really well i want to see a razor pin i want to see a beido pin i want to see a ningguan pin because if the pins do well they will have more of the characters on there as well and i really really want the razor one like i really want young razore as well it's a really nice birthday present that i wanted to give to my friends as well for the future but unfortunately razor is not there at the moment so in the future hopefully that is the case if the if the shop does well and the product does well so once again if anyone does choose to support through that means thank you so so much i really do appreciate you and i would say content creation check i'm trying to mental check note here have i got everything off Genshin Millionaire and guests. Yep, check. Love that series to death. Thank you so much to everyone that watches it. And uh, Lixies pins. Yep, check. And there was something else I missed out. Ah, selling out my social media, guys. So if you are on Twitter, I'm very active on Twitter at Asian Guy Stream. My Instagram is the exact same thing. I'm not super active on Instagram, but I post regularly now at Asian Guy Stream as well. So both of those are my links and obviously Twitch is Asian Guy Stream as well. And then my YouTube is Asian Guy Genshin. Now TikTok guys, is something I wanted to ask you about. Who uses TikTok guys? I am curious because I underestimated, right? So what I've been doing guys recently is I've been joining random people's worlds and I've been shamelessly asking, you know, do you watch any Genshin Impact content creators? And most of the time, people are like, yes or no. And the number number one names that keep coming up on EU, Buap, J Kage, and Akron. So these three, and Techie as well. Those four are like the elite four. They're like the elite four. Buttercup. Do you need help, Buttercup? Do you need help with Andreas? 
So normally I help them or I just straight up ask them, do you know XYZ YouTuber? Just to see if anyone knows me because I have a fragile ego, guys. Um, let me help this person out first. And then a lot of people are like, oh, I only watch, I only watch TikTok content creators. I'm like, bruh, you know, I'm just like, I'm just like TikTok content creators. Okay. You know, and so many people watch TikTok. So that's something interesting. 56 rank. Oh, 66, 56 rank. Yes, I am. Andreas, Dominator of Wolves. Level 84. All right, let's see how far we can go here. No, 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 you've, you've, you've. No, he's removed my cryo, guys. What's he doing? Stop! Stop! Let me melt! Let- Oh, no. Oh, no. He's just removed my cryo, guys. He keeps removing it. Stop it! Buttercup, just let me do it! Just let me do it, Buttercup! <laughs> no, Buttercup, stop! Let me use my cryo, Chong Yun! Uh, why is he hitting me? That should not be hitting me, guys. That is very annoying. Well... I'm just joined a random world and I'm helping with Andreas right now, but I'm guessing this is like a lag issue where I can't hit him right now. So let me just uh, quickly equip. Where is the food button? Here we go. Okay. Anyway, seems like a lot of people use TikTok and that's why I'm curious. How many of you guys use TikTok? Because I'm thinking maybe I do need to make a TikTok. And it's going to be a very super secret name. So if anyone tries to take Asian guy TikTok, you know, just know that's not me. And as we try and clap these cheeks here. Okay. No, he's, he's removed my pyro again, guys. He keeps removing my pyro. I can't show him big PP damage because he keeps removing the pyro. It's okay. Chong Yun finish. Oh, Chong Yun can't finish. Wait, that sounds so weird. Chong Yun can't finish Andreas because of Andreas's cryo resistance. Anyway, this video is like so all over the place. I'm so, so, so sorry. But let's quickly ask him. No problem. Do you watch any Genshin streamers? Or YouTubers. Let's find out, guys. This is a new series I plan on doing, guys. Where I go to random worlds on the EU server and ask shamelessly to get people to subscribe to my YouTube channel. So if someone joins your world, it could very much be me. But there could be imposters as well. So I'm going to end off on this note. Hopefully Buttercup does watch our channel. Let's find out. Buttercup could be the very, very first one. Let's start off with, do you know Tenha? Do you know Tenha? Buttercup. What about Tectone? Okay, watch guys. Boap, J Kage, and Akron. Yes, see? 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 Boap, J Kage, and Akron are the kings of EU. They are the kings of EU. Only Buap. Ah. What about Asian guy Genshin? Come on. Let's end this video on a positive note. This chaotic all over the place video on a positive note. Buttercup. Buttercup. Do you know Asian guy Genshin? I'm about to gain a subscriber today. Oh. Can you subscribe to his channel? You're going to be in a YouTube video of his today. So yeah, hi Buttercup. If you watch the video, it will be at the very end of his new video. The last five minutes will be us fighting Andreas. Thanks. Have a nice day. <laughs> That's right, guys. Buttercup is our new subscriber. Do we have Buttercup in the comment section? Let's find out. So, yes. 
We just helped Buttercup with Andreas. We are going to return to our world now. Buttercup. There is Buttercup. Thank you so much for watching, guys. That was a fun video, guys. It's a very, very bad video in terms of YouTube. If I upload this video, it's going to damage my channel because it's not an algorithm-friendly channel. But I really don't care about that kind of stuff. Obviously, I care about the growth of my channel, but I don't care about it to the point where it's like, oh, yeah, I need to do an algorithm video, algorithm video, algorithm video. That's why we have, like, Genshin Monday and Genshin Tuesday. I want to get to know you guys. I want you guys to get to know me better as a person. So that's my thoughts. That's my opinions. That's... But basically me just rambling for a good... Jesus, 35 minutes, guys. I'm so sorry. 35 minutes of absolute nonsense. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Shout out to Buttercup. Shout out to I Win to Lose Gaming. And also shout out to Lixie as well. The links will be in the description. So yeah, everything I talked about today, the links will be in the description. For once, guys, the one time I ask you guys, I never ask. For people to smash that like button, or click the subscribe button, or turn the notification bell on. Because I don't do that stuff here. But today I will ask you guys to please read the description and check out anything that you may have been interested in there. I win to lose gaming, Elixir's artwork and pins. Remember, they are in a pre-order queue now. So if you would like to get them ASAP, it's your time to get them now. Because I'm not going to hard push them yet. Maybe for another week or so I won't hard push them. And after I start hard pushing them, I do believe it's going to get harder and harder to get those pins. So yes, thank you so much for watching guys. And have a wonderful, wonderful day. Remember, for 5% off, code ATSU at checkout. And bye bye